Hi, I'm Christy Titus. Thank you for joining me for my latest episode of Pursue the Wild, Tips from the Wild. And oftentimes as hunters, we find ourselves either backpacking or deep into the backcountry on our hunts. And when we get a big game animal down, we are then tasked with the large job of packing out our meat. Now the gutless method is a great way to pack out meat that will remove the segments by quarter without actually having to field dress the animal. Let's get to work and I'll show you how this process is done. With a sharp skinning knife or gut hook, make a dorsal cut that extends from the neck down to the tail base, cutting with the grain of the hair. To eliminate carrying excess weight, remove the leg and hoof at the knee joint. If you're going to shoulder mount your animal, make a slice in the hide behind the front leg and up to the rib cage in order to circle the body. This will ensure that your taxidermist has an adequate amount of hide to mount your animal. Remove the hide beginning from the rib cage, pulling up towards the head, exposing where the head and neck connect. After exposing the meat by removing the hide, place a piece of plastic visqueen under the quarter that you're working on. This will help to keep dirt off both your hide and your meat as you cut to remove the front shoulder. Next, cut down along the spine to remove as much neck meat as you can. Remove the leg at the hock joint to eliminate carrying excess weight. The placement of visqueen or plastic under the leg will help keep the meat clean as you remove the hide. Remove the connecting tissue surrounding the pelvis, cutting along the spine and down to the connecting socket found in the hip. Removing all of the connecting muscle mass will make this socket easy to expose and to cut around in order to detach the quarter from the carcass. To remove the back strap, make a close cut along the spine. For your second cut, you may need to trim excess fat along the ribs to reveal the line of muscle that you can easily follow with your knife. The tenderloins are completely possible to access through the stomach. Reach in and under the spine. This delicate muscle is easy to feel and identify with your knife. Oftentimes, with just a couple of cuts, you can pretty much pull this muscle off of the spine. Be cautious in this process to not puncture the guts or cut yourself. Flip over the animal and repeat the process. Now you're ready to go out heavy. 